What's up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella mother in Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into our video. But before we do, always remember, when in doubt, just pull your mother effing blunt out. And thank you to everybody that continues to go on over to Facebook and follow Barb City over there. You guys are so awesome. Very much appreciated. And if you have not already done that, your breath stink. Okay, let's get into our first topic, which is going to be about Jaden Alexis finally getting what she wanted from Blueface. So, as you guys know, Jaden Alexis has always wanted to be Blueface's wife, and he has finally proposed to her after every single thing that she's been through and i'm not gonna lie at first i was happy for them at first i am still happy for them y'all okay but before we get into why i'm happy for them check this video clip out I'm happy because hopefully this means that Blueface and Krishan will never be getting back together. But also, you guys, Jaden Alexis and Blueface have been together for a really long time. I think since middle school or high school, just like me and my husband, they also have kids. So it's like, who can't be happy for this? At the end of the day, I wish that Jaden Alexis made Blueface change some things about himself and also the way that he treats her before she said yes. But that's not my business. Let's go on ahead and get into the comments. This is funny. LOL. I'm sorry, but ain't no way a man can ask me to marry him after he had a baby a show of women fighting for his love, a show with another woman. She ended up leaving him, then came back to me. This is Cornish behavior. Really hope he's not doing this out of spite, but congrats. Not y'all in the quotes mad because he loves Jaden. I don't care how many times he cheated. Y'all go back to broke ends that cheat every day. She's good. And two more people saying, at Krishan Malone, you've gotten this man so in his feelings by leaving him that he done proposed to his doormat. You young lady are now goaded. He is so petty. LMAO. Best believe this won't last, but this is all she ever wanted. Sad it took all of this for him to do it. And I definitely agree with that. But either way it goes, congratulations to Blueface and Jaden Alexis. And let's go on ahead and move forward into our next topic, which is going to be about Rihanna. So it's being reported that Rihanna is planning a major comeback. What? Rihanna planning a major comeback. At this point, I'm tired of Rihanna playing with me and I don't believe it. You bitch! How dare you? Oh my God!
here's what's being said. Rihanna is planning a major comeback tour for 2024-2025 after signing a new $32 million deal with Live Nation, according to Daily Mirror. She also reportedly has two albums of new material to release. So let me know what y'all think. At the end of the day, I don't believe it. And here are some of the comments. I'm not moving. Does Rihanna know Rihanna is planning a major comeback tour for 2024-2025? Two albums and a tour? You sure it's not two lipsticks and a fashion show? And one more person saying, me arriving at Clown University once again, believing in Rihanna's return. <laughs> Let's go on ahead and move forward into 77 cents. So 77 cents just did a performance and you guys during her performance, her show was at a complete stand still. I did make this clip into a short that I will post later on today with the sound, but you guys know I cannot play the sound in this video because I will get a strike. But at the end of the day, do not come to my comments talking, talking about, Oh, well, Lotto still got the bag. They still paid to come and see her. No, okay? She was a side act, and they paid to come and see someone else. And like I said, her crowd was dead as F. Check this quick video clip out. Okay. Literally, not one hand in the air, not one uh, lyric, nothing. Not one person was moving at all. And to be quite honest, I am not surprised. But let me know what you guys feel about that. Because like I said, we are not spending too much time on 77 cents today. Let's get into Sexy Red. So Sexy Red also did a performance and she stopped her show because she felt like somebody in the crowd was looking at her some type of way and was basically like, is you good? Let's go ahead and check that video clip out together as well. You okay? You okay? You cool? 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 So you guys, people were not here for what Sexy Red did. Honestly, they were like, why would a person pay to come to your show if they don't F with you? And why would you embarrass one of your fans like that? So here were the comments. You stop a show to ask me if there's a problem. I'm petty enough to say yes. If it wasn't a problem before, it definitely would have been one after that. I don't give a F who you are. Girl, why would someone pay to come see someone they don't F with? She is extra as F. Imagine paying money to support someone and they publicly embarrass you. And one more person saying, if an artist stops a show to try to take, to excuse me, goddamn. If an artist stops a show to try to make a scene with me, I'm going to really make a mother effing scene because why did you do all of that? And my opinion on that is I do feel like it was a bit much. It's like the person could have been drunk. The person could have been I. And you stop your performance to call them out in front of everybody. Like, I felt like that was a bit much. And they paid to come see you. But anyways y'all let's go on ahead and move forward into our last topic which is going to be a little bit of razzle dazzle of course the queen Nicki minaj i just want to get into a few of her recent stats and that's pretty much it and i'll let y'all get up out of here you guys know i will never argue with a dud instead i will always respond with stats and i think it's about that time so with that being said, you guys, let's go on ahead and just run a few of them for the queen. 
Despite new releases, Barbie World by Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice has re-entered the top 200 on U.S. Apple Music. Super Freaky Girl by Nicki Minaj remains the last solo rap song to debut at number one. Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 remains as the highest peer sales for a female rap album in 2023, despite not being released yet. The album has two songs over 100 million streams and not being carried by one song. The album has a total of 600 million streams pre-released. Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 official releases have now sold 4 million units in the United States combined. Nicki Minaj's Super Bass is less than 800K views away from hitting 1 billion views on YouTube. So you guys go run it the F up. And one more stat. Nicki Minaj ranks as the most awarded rapper in the world, according to Wikipedia. This includes every important ceremony in the world of music. Nicki Minaj with 416 awards, Jay-Z with 266, Kanye West 241, Drake 193, Kendrick Lamar 178. And with that being said, let's go on ahead and give the queen her mother effing flowers out. Just, just, just give a bitch her, her roses though. I mean, you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses out, you know what I'm saying? I did. Okay, because the queen is forever going to be the queen. <laughs> oh, well, all you can do is laugh. And with all of that being said, I love you guys so much. Thanks.